Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today. Today guys we have episode number 6 of the Roma career mode in FC24. Thank you guys for the support in the previous videos as always. It is much appreciated. All the uh, likes, comments, views. It's massively um, appreciated. Today we will show you where we currently stand. We stand fir third. I was going to say 13th because I was looking at the games played. Third in the table. Um, Juventus and Napoli are kind of going away with it um, in terms of a, a, how far away we are. Eight points behind Napoli and nine behind Juventus. So what we're going to do today is I will show you the calendar when I go over to the office. And you can see today, Sassuolo, Fiorentina, uh, Sli Sligo, Rovers, that's it, uh, Bologna. That is Bologna and Napoli for today's episode. And then obviously, oh wow, we've got Juventus as well. I didn't see that in the month of December. December, a busy month. I might even try and fit that Juventus game in. Uh, and then we will start the January transfer window in the next episode following that. As you can see, January, it looks fairly busy. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how we get on with these games. Uh, I may even simulate the um, Europa League game, but <clears throat> what we're going to do now, jump into the Sassuolo game and we'll see how we get on. Obviously, you know, the past couple of episodes, we've started to pick up some wins, uh, understand the game a bit more and play the AI a bit better. Um, obviously, we have we, there's a couple of games where we haven't really performed. So if you do enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment, air your thoughts and opinions on the video. Now, I will say get your January transfer window suggestions in the comments now because I need to start building up some suggestions from you guys so that I can scout them and shortlist them and we'll kind of look at that in the next episode. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the first game against the Sulo. Pellegrini on the ball now, plays it out wide too. Abraham, he's got a lot of space here. Belotti is in the box. Abraham's going to go all the way. <clears throat> Need someone to come in. Belotti's there. Can he turn? No. Ibala. Pellegrini to Sanchez. Sanchez waiting for that run. Canate of all people. What is he doing up here? Canate. Oh, it's saved <clears throat> by the keeper. Corner kick now. Ibala. Whips it in. It's headed. Pellegrini. And it's 1-0 to Roma. It's a lovely header from Pellegrini there. Lovely de delivery from Dybala on the left-hand side. Ball in swinger. Pellegrini out jumps his man and sends it way past the keeper. Back of the net. And we find ourselves 1-0 up inside the first 20 minutes of the game. Sassuolo now on the ball. Ball played through. Canate and Mancini going across. Mancini's done really well, but he's lost the ball. Canate. Ah, it's a goal. No. What were you doing there? Mancini's won the ball and he's given it straight back. And the ball's cut back across. Canate can't block. Patricio can't save. And unfortunately, we see ourselves back level. It's 1-1 now. Velotti now plays it through. Pellegrini is in. It's Pellegrini. It's Pellegrini. Can he get the shot off? It's saved by the keeper. It's a great save from the keeper. Another corner now. Paredes. Fresh on the pitch, whips it in. Dybala with the bicycle kick. Oh my god, how has he not scored? Freydes. Dybala with the header and it's wide. Ball played inside. Konate misses the tackle. Wendell on the ball. Need to get this ball back. Mancini, that's a great tackle. It's a great tackle. And Awa now, need to counter. Good bit of play from him. Lukaku... Who's also fresh on the pitch. Out to the left back. Christensen. Needs, su needs some support here. Lukaku. Have to go deep. Just keep recycling the ball. It's OR now. Dybala's running in. It's Dybala. It's a goal. 80th minute. And Dybala's banged it in the top corner. What a finish. And what a goal. It's 2-1 two, 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 now. 10 minutes left to go. Here comes Sassuolo. They haven't finished yet. It's a good save from Patricio. Select clears. Dybala's got a lot of space. 
into Paredes now. I'm going to try and switch that as a poor ball from Paredes. We've got a couple of minutes left. Dybala's going to pick that up. It's a terrible touch from the defender. Lukaku into Karsdorp now. Karsdorp. Can he cut inside? Oh, he's oh he's got it back. He's lost it. Oh, my God. What happened there? Last minute of the game now. We need to see this out. Just don't want to concede because we've, we've really struggled in this second half and we've managed to get a goal. We want to keep these three points. Dybala has to come in and we win the game. Let's go. 2-1 against the Sulu away. That was a tough, tough game. Especially in that second half. I thought we were going to concede, but we haven't. It's 2-1. We win the game. Now let's jump into the next game of the episode. Just before we're about to get in the next game against Fiorentina, Tammy Abraham has unfortunately suffered a broken toe and will be out for three months, which is a bit worrying because I was actually going to start playing him left wing. Um, but unfortunately, he is out. So that means we are going to have to revert back to using maybe someone else like El Shawari, I don't know if he deserves to play because he's already leaving in January. So he can just stay in the reserves and rot. But unfortunately, Abraham's injured. I thought I'd let you guys, uh, I thought I'd update you guys on that. Um, bit annoying, but we'll figure it out. Um, let's jump into the next game of the episode. Sanchez. Stante. Going to play it out to the left back, Spinazzola. Going to line up a shot. And it's, oh, it's nearly there from Spinazzola. The long-range effort. Again, you can see the replay. I mean, it wasn't going in, but, you know, it, if that dipped a bit more, it could have... The keeper was struggling there. Here come Fiorentina. A lot of space open. He squared it, and it's a goal. Poor defending. I don't know why our right-back hasn't tracked him there. That's a, oh, look at that. So easy. And Canate, I thought he was going to go for the shot, and I've gone across the slide to block, and he squares it to, to an open net. We see ourselves 1-0 down. Here come Fiorentina now on the right-hand side. Ball really has gone back. Need to get the ball. We're running around like chickens here. Good defending. Oh, we've given the ball straight back. Sanchez, what was that? Mancini with the block. And it's to Pellegrini now. Dybala, Lukaku... Is there Pellegrini? Oh, why has it not gone to Pellegrini? It has now. Pellegrini now on the ball. Going to charge through down the line. Dybala has made the move inside. It's Dybala. And it's a great finish from Dybala. Lovely finish. Get the ball. It's our first real shot on target, I think. Or shot in the game. I don't really remember us having a shot. Dybala. I mean, he scored one in, the, in I think, two episodes ago like this. Outside the box. Get him on that left foot. He's clinical. A great finish. 2 uh, 1 1 now. Hopefully, we can push on with that goal and get the win. As I say that, Pellegrini to Lukaku. Play it into Bellotti. He's still got it. Pellegrini to Sanchez. No. Stop his time. But Sanchez, can he play Dybala into Lukaku? Oh, it's a poor touch from Lukaku. And that's probably going to be the end of the game, and it is. It's a 1-1 one, one result. Not bad. I mean, we again, we didn't really create many chances in this game. Um, bit annoying, but what can you do? We're going to move on into the next game of the episode. Ball at the edge of the box here. We managed to win the ball after counter-attack here. Need some more players further up the pitch. Zielinski now. Oh, that's a great ball. Into Zielinski. Can he get the goal? Oh, he's hit the crossbar. And we still got the ball, though. Zielinski. Dybala. Dybala. It's saved by the keeper. Zielinski now into Bellotti. He's going to... Oh, he's trying to go for the shot in the corner, but he's tackled by the defender. Here come Rovers now. Ball played through. Smalling. Oh, wow. That's a terrible block. As you can see on the screen... We need to win this game if we want to qualify. Or draw and then... But uh, we need to win, put it this way. The ball played down to Belotti. Zielinski now. Oh, come on. That's surely a foul. Zielinski. Keep saying... I always say his name wrong, but... Here come Rovers again. Oh, wow. That's a poor challenge. 
and we've somehow come out with the ball. This snow is not really helping me, to be honest. But we've still got the ball. By Barla, going to play that out to Balotti. And Balotti should be through on goal here. He's got the pace. Has he got the finish? Of course he does. It's Balotti. This is his competition. A lovely finish from him into the bottom corner. A lovely counter-attack from us all the way from our own box. Balotti had the pace on the defender. And he finishes it into the bottom corner. And to, it now makes it 1-0. Oh, lovely play from Rovers down the right-hand side. Ball played out. Mancini going across. He's trying to go past him. Mancini does really well there. It is a corner. Dybala is injured, and that is not what you want to see. I'm going to take him straight off. That is really, really not good. I'm going to bring him on because he hasn't really played for us, uh, Asmun. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Belotti's going to go out to the right. Dybala, unfortunately, off injured. Hopefully it's not like Abraham's where he's out for three months because that would really, really hurt us. Another corner. Good defending there. Or I think Paredes that was. Always going to be played in. It's a deep one. And it's in. Oh, and it's not. Oh, I thought both got it off the line. It's gone in. Let's see the replay. It's a really good header. And it, Oh, he's gone to head it and he's headed it into his own net. And it's now 1-1. Wah now on the ball. Belotti has the ball. Play out wide. Celic inside. Gonna wait for that run from Celic. It's nice. Can he get the ball in? Oh, it's unlucky. I'm gonna keep it alive and it's a corner. Out of nothing, really, to be honest. Paredes now with the ball. Whips it in. Belotti's there and it's a lovely finish from Belotti. Like I said in the first goal, this is his competition. He's scoring so many goals. And he makes it 2-1 from the corner. They come Rovers straight from the kickoff. Mancini has to come across. That's great defending again from Mancini. Really enjoying using Mancini at the back because he is our best defender, I'd say. Zolitski again. Has he got the pace? Oh, the defender. He's away from the defender. And he scores. It's a lovely counter-attack once again. It's an unreal goal. Lovely, lovely play from Mancini to start off. Zaliski has scored to make it 3-1. Awa now. Through on goal. Can he square it? Yes, he can. It's a lovely goal. And it's 4-1. And I think any doubts have been put to bed. Awa did really well there to get the ball back. And he squared it to the low knee from Leverkusen. Asmon, who gets his first goal, I believe, for the club. As Awa wins it back. But yeah, 4-1 now. It should be game over. Celic wins it. Awa. Belotti. He's through. For the hat-trick. It's Belotti. He turns. Belotti. Oh, what a goal. It's Belotti. He has banged that into the top left. What a solo goal that was. He turned the defender and he had him on ice skates in the snow. Lovely, lovely finish across the goal. And it's his hat trick. And that's game over. It's now 5 1 to Roma. Belotti now on the right wing. Oh, it's a lovely turn, Belotti. Can he make the 1 2? Oh, this is lovely. Belotti, can he square it? Asmon! Oh, he's put it wide. And I think that's going to be the end of the game. Substitute now. I didn't even mean to bring him on. I've accidentally pressed that, but it is what it is. Keeper's going to kick it up the pitch. Mancini. He's played excellent in this game. Still got the ball. Just want to kind of see this game out now. Awa. Celic. Going to run it down the line. And it's probably going to go out. And it's game over. We are through to the knockout stages of the Europa League. We're now going to move on into the next league game of the episode. Right, guys. Next game of the episode. We are going to sim this match. But I'm going to do the normal sim just to... You know, just in case anything does happen, we need to jump in. Um, hopefully, you know, we had a really good episode today. We've um, played some really nice football, you know. Two wins and a draw so far. Is that Enketia playing for Bologna? It is. Wow. Okay. Anyway, we are in the yellows, as you can see. Ball played through, and it's a good save from the keeper. I've changed the team a little bit. I have put um, Smalling in, in Dickers at the back with Smalling. 
Uh, Asmun is on the right wing because Dybala is still injured. He was only injured for five days, by the way, so that's, that's a good thing. Hopefully, he could be back soon. And Enketia has scored, of all people. Wow. As if Enketia scored. Anyway, 1-0 down. As you can see, not really what you want. Let's see if we can get a goal back straight away. Ball played through. That's a, I was going to say it was a good pass, but it's not. Ball played out. Can we get the ball into Lukaku? Oh, it's a lovely turn. Who's that? Wow. Corner. Whipped in. No one's there. Smalling. Oh, it's another save from the keeper. Whipped in. Can we get... Oh, we can't get... Cristante on the edge? We've had a lot of chances already. First half. Oh, Lukaku. Lovely play. Oh, we've lost the ball, Pellegrini. Need to get the ball back. Oh, lovely. Lukaku. Oh, he should have played it into Lukaku. Lukaku's there. Lukaku! Lukaku has scored the goal 1-1 now. Can we get another one before half-time? All played out wide. Belotti, Lukaku. Count is on. Oh, wow. Lukaku's through. Can he score? He probably should have squared it. I'm going to resume that now. Not too sure about that one from Lukaku. Probably should have squared it. But that doesn't matter anyway. All played through. Nice football squared to Pellegrini. And that's a lovely, lovely goal. Renato Sanchez with the finish. Lovely goal from Roma there. Oh, we've won the ball back straight away. Oh, wow. Look, there's so many men over. Lukaku. Oh, it's a lovely goal. We actually are going to sim to the end of the game. We won 6-1. Oh, wow. Lukaku with... Two. Pellegrini with two. Sanchez with two. Wow. Three goal scorers. 6 1 win. I will take that all day long. Anyway, guys, we're going to jump into the last game potentially of the episode. I will check the calendar before we decide. But yeah, let's jump into that game. Right then, guys. As you can see, the table is there. 16 games played. Napoli top. We are sat in third. Now, we're playing Napoli right now. Obviously, as you can see, we are five points behind. And, yeah, it's a massive, massive game. I didn't actually realise we were playing Napoli until I checked the calendar because I thought the next game was Juventus. But it's actually not. It's snowing again, which is kind of annoying. I didn't really like playing in the snow. But what can you do? We're in December. Is expected. Anyway, massive game. Top of the table clash. Let's see how we get on. Right, guys. Unfortunately, I forgot to press record for this Napoli game. As you can see on the screen, Osherman has just scored to make it 2-0. Uh, the first goal was outside the box. Um, sorry for that. I completely... I just didn't even realise. Thank God I looked over at the recording. Because um, it wasn't even... I didn't even press start. So, as you can see, we are 2-0 down. We had a chance in the in the first like 10 or so minutes, but since then we haven't really been able to get hold of the ball much. But here we go now. Dybala going to cut back inside to Lukaku. Can he find Pellegrini? Can Pellegrini get the shot away? Penalty, surely, ref. No. But yeah, guys, sorry about that, but that is half time. Hopefully we can try and salvage a draw or something, but we haven't really played well. So uh, we'll move into the second half now. Oh, that's lovely from Belotti. He's won the ball back. It's two on two here. Belotti, he's got the pace, surely. Belotti, he's going to have to go alone. Belotti, he's at the post. No. Oh, it's unlucky from Belotti. Oh, Oshaman running the show for Napoli. I mean, he's gone all the way. And it's through, and it's a goal. Oh, what are we doing? We've been absolutely pumped by Napoli in this game. I mean, what? It's an invisible player. What is that? That's an invisible player. He's invisible. He is invisible. What the hell? Just sums up the game. Oh, wow. Good save from the keeper. Still annoyed about that invisible player. I literally can't see him to tackle him. I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really change anything, let's be real. But all played through... I mean, Mancini's done enough, but don't really have anything 
going for us. It's an invisible player. What is that? I just got tackled from someone that's not there. I just can't believe it. What is that? What is that? Watch the replay. I get tackled by an invisible player. Oh my god, this is that's actually a joke. What is that? All played through. It's hit the post. And we just need to get this game over with because I'm so annoyed about that. Invisible player. That's that I mean we were we would we would have already lost the game. But twice he's been involved. One for a goal and two for the counter when we tried to go up the other end. Um it's just that is so frustrating. Like oh, and that's game over. We lost 4 0 to Napoli. We, we we didn't deserve anything from that game. But that is gonna be the end of this episode. I hope you did enjoy the video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.